your reaction to the reaction? I mean, it's amazing what's happening out there. Well, it's blown up. I mean, and I guess we could have expected that. I got to tell you, being in that room with him on Monday at his house, as we were sitting there, it was so clear that, that he had a lot to get off his chest, had a lot to say. And I couldn't believe half the time what I was hearing. I what mean, couldn't you believe, George? Well, when, when, I, when I asked him about, when I asked him about the, the dossier, and I said, did, did you believe his denial? And he said, I, I just don't know. I can't say it's not true. Right, so for a former director of the FBI. To say that about a sitting president, yeah. that was something. And what was your reaction in front of him? Well, you saw it. I yeah. mean, I, I'm, I had to keep doing my job. <laughs> right, but you didn't say, what? Well, I, I did say, and there's another point. You'll see this on Sunday night. There was another point um, where I had a, I was also taken aback. And I simply said, I'm stunned by what I'm hearing here. And what did he say? Watch Sunday. <laughs> oh, this is like Barbara Walters used to do, right? <laughs> and the teases were very much like that, where you asked these questions that we really wanted to hear the answers. Now that people have well, heard... Well, because this is the first interview since he was fired. Well, and, that's why yeah. it's getting a lot of attention. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so what do you think the fallout from all this? We saw what happened from President Trump and his reactions. Yeah, and I guess that wasn't surprising. You know, Democrats are firing at, at him as well. You know, they're, they're taking aim at what, one of the things we see at the book, and I addressed this with him in the interview as well. This whole idea that had suffused, you know, in some ways the entire government, that everybody was assuming Hillary Clinton was going to win, and he concedes at some level that, you know, that affected his, his state of mind as he's making these big decisions. Have we ever had a situation where a law enforcement the chief law enforcement officer, you know, for an, an investigative agency, has ever had that kind of. I think this is completely unprecedented. When's the last time you, you could think of one individual who's not a candidate for president, who's had this much influence over a presidential election and the course of a presidency? What impact do you think this is going to have on the ongoing special counsel investigation? I think Robert Mueller is just going to keep on doing his job. I mean, I, I don't think this will have any effect on that. Now, could it have an effect on President Trump? Might it, might it affect President Trump's decisions over whether or not he fires Robert Mueller or fires Rod Rosenstein? I suppose that's possible. But I think Mueller is just going to you know, keep his head down and do his job. It, it could have been that James Comey didn't do this. He didn't have to write a book about this. No, and we talk about that as well. And I, and I, and I ask him whether he thinks this will get in the way of the Mueller investigation. And clearly, and I think he's ready for this, uh, clearly he's going to continue to get attacked from both sides. But I think his hope is that if people actually read the book and, 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 and walk the journey with him and get inside his state of mind and understand why he made the decisions, they'll, they'll understand what he was trying to do. Republicans are going to look at this and say, this is what a special counsel looking into the Democrats should be looking at, James Comey, because they want to indict him. So what, though? <laughs> that's, I, that, that, well, you've, you've seen all the, uh, on certain cable news channels, you've seen all that. Every night they talk about it. I, I, I suppose they do. I mean, I, I, I think that you can't indict people based on what is being said on cable news channels. I, mean, I think that's a good, a good <laughs> mantra, mantra, mantra to have. One more thing. Um, I want to I go back to your surprise. Have, have you ever been involved? Well, you've been involved in a lot of stuff. But did this take you by surprise, the reaction? I've never had an interview like this. Never, never, never had an interview like this that was this intense, uh, potentially this consequential, and where I was as surprised as I was by what I heard. And the reaction from Democrats who believe he cost Hillary Clinton the election, their organized reaction from Republicans and Donald Trump? He's taking it from all sides.